I'm just nervous. I'm scared. I don't know, like, like what's going to happen when I'm, where I'm, they're going to put me. Tonight, this foster teen is speaking exclusively to News Channel 8 about the awful conditions he faced in the care of Eckerd Connects. Right now, the nonprofit is under investigation by the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office for child abuse and neglect. Law enforcement officials say Eckerd allegedly put kids in dangerous and deplorable conditions. Eight on your side, senior investigator Walt Buteau heard about them firsthand. He, uh, uh, Eckerd Connects received $80 million this year to take care of more than 6,000 Bay Area foster children, not enough to provide a decent place to sleep, according to one of them. You know, it's just dirty, bro. This is video we showed you earlier this year from Eckerd's Tampa office, where children say they have slept on the floor over the years when other placements were not available. It was a similar setup inside Eckerd's Largo office, according to Clearwater 17-year-old David DeNorsi. His mother now has temporary custody, but they say he's been in and out of Eckerd care since 2013 and has slept in the office several times. I had to scrunch up underneath the desk where the computers are, all under the wires and stuff, and I slept under there. I put a blanket down over everything. No mattress. No mattress. No pillow. Not even a cot. Eckerd Connects is now under investigation by the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office with part of the focus on the conditions and alleged lack of supervision when children sleep in that office. Eckerd leaders say they do not believe any laws were violated and they plan to defend themselves against any allegations. DeNorsi and his mother tell me many foster homes also have issues and DeNorsi claims there was an altercation with an Eckerd employee when he questioned a placement. Basically, I don't want to go to this place. You know, there's bed bugs. I don't want to get bit up all night. I don't want to sleep here in this place. And, you know. And what did he do? He just hit me right there in the office. DeNorsi says this picture was taken shortly after the incident, showing a mark on the bridge of his nose and swelling. An Eckerd spokesperson tells us there is no record of a child being struck, saying striking a child would be a blatant violation of our policy that would result in immediate termination and a referral to law enforcement. The 17-year-old and his mother say none of Eckerd's options have been better than his home. Uh, I got a bed in there. I got food, clothes, everything that I need. And they're going to take me from there and put me in a place that, you know, is not good. Eckerd recently announced 201 employees who work in Pinellas and Pasco will be laid off at the end of the year when its current contract expires. The Hillsborough County contract expires on June 30th. So bottom line, the clock is ticking here. Have we heard any word on who's going to be taking over for Eckerd? Well, not really, but today was the deadline for applications in Pinellas and Pasco. That involves about 3,500 children. We have not heard back from DCF yet about how many bids were received. But listen to this. The new agency is expected to take over 3,500 kids in their care by January 1st, which right now is only seven weeks away. So the clock I mean. is ticking. Yeah. Yeah. But that will open a whole new box of problems because will it be a qualified agency? Will they be able to handle Are the influx of kids? Are they ready? Is mm -hmm. there enough money? Yeah. Right. All right. Thank Thanks you, more. Walt. If you have something you want Walt to investigate, call our 8 on your side helpline at 1-800-338-0808.